Hello, compact C8 vacuum game with my trusty compact vacuum cleaner. No, I didn't get a different one. I just given a new paint job, filters, bags, new belts, and a new power nozzle. I finally got all the attachment for it. For it, I finally got the original set complete. I have every attachment that came with it. Thanks to the dirty, dirty eBay. Yep, you guessed it. The Eureka Style Compact Turbo Brush Viper Groomer 1 with suction release. And metal brush one. As mentioned before, I have the metal floor tool, cyclonic, all original, two spares extension wands that fit into the floor tool, because I like to keep this one for the power head, so I'll have to keep changing it in 30 seconds. I'm nowhere near a professional for paint jobs on a vacuum cleaner. But I think I came out pretty good on this one. Give you a little look. Yeah, there's some paint that came off as I removed the tape. I'm not a pro. This is the first time attempting this in my shed on a hot summer afternoon. This is three coats of paint. Rattle can paint. Uh, engine enamel blue. GM Blue, I guess I would call it. <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. I didn't paint the inside of the lid, was it necessary? All the dust I've been picking up. I got a paper bag, a cloth bag, the motor filter, and a cap. Oh, and I <laughs> painted all the way. And then underneath. That tap used to be black, but I painted gold just so it would match the handle for fun. Got a match. And I did a paint job on the power head also, and put a new um, belt in it today. Just cleaned it. I had the power head for about five months. I had the compact since July last year. So it's a year and one month since I have the compact vacuum here. And I must say, compact is the best damn vacuum on the planet. Some that agree, some that will not. Put your opinion in the comment box. Now that I got it all together, we're gonna do some vacuuming. And I got the attachment teddy over here, which I put on the hose, so. Right now, my compact has the attachment stored on the hose, like this. So, I don't have to look for my tools anymore. I have a place to store them right on the vacuum. So I got a tool casing on the vacuum. Which is kind of nice. So, without further ado, I'll do some New filters, bags, belt, and I painted the cord also to match the vacuum. So everything match. Hold on, give me an idea. This cord is kind of short. This is the same compact that I was showing in my other videos, just with a new paint job. Just start to freshen it up a bit, you know, make it look better. New. So now she runs like new, she looks like it's new. Let's see if she performs like it. My carpet hasn't been clean in a few days, so got a vacuum in and I'll show you how it does. <laughs>
contest that I have. As you can see, it moves the contest very well, just as good, if not better, than could is the temporary complex. This bus wall is the same number used by Eureka, the Eureka Roman County, the Rainbow D2, the Fairfax, and the View Panasonic. And a little improvement that I've made is to block the suction release hole of the uh, crevice tool. As I found it gives more suction to the crevice tool than does what it is supposed to do. As my couch is very thick, uh, lazy boy uh, upholstery, so I need all the suction I can get. Then I put the tool teddy right here on the hole so it's stored on the vacuum cleaner. Now I'm going to show you how the brush, brush tool performs. Brush tool. Floor tool. <laughs> Excuse the mix up of words. A little tired. There. Got the metal brush here. There. Cyclonic, gotta have it, gotta love it. Just gotta move the camera down. Excuse the disturbedness of the camera, I'm using my laptop here. So, it's gonna, it's gonna have to do. And I don't have the money bag of camera yet. Hmm. So, this is the Slow tool vacuuming my This is the swivel handle on the vacuum cleaner. Very nice to have. As I do get my hose table look pretty much 24-7, so having that option is nice. There, this is good now. <laughs> I hope. I ain't no pro in this, that's for sure. There we go. That's the compact vacuum cleaner with his new paint job. And the oh no, let me get in the focus. Damn it, side. There we go. This is the compact electric hose, seven feet. And I painted the cap door with dust come out. This is a blow report. It has the original Amtec two stage motor. I'm not sure if it's a single fan or not, but two stage sounds like a twin fan to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I know. The dusting brush is not original. I'm still looking for it. But the rest is factory clear attachments. That would have came with the Compact C9. Gold on the Compact C80. Paper bag. 
phase one. Factory original cloth bag, stage two. Demolder, stage three. And the cap. This has a filter in it to filter all the fine particles that might come out. So, let's close up the tank. Put everything back together. They only use compact, trash that genuine parts on it. As other parts from other manufacturers will not fit. Now, my titanium tire today was lucky enough to find some bag that said compact TriStar. God, was I happy. Can't find those in, in my neck of the woods. So, this is my compact with this new metallic pearlish paint job, whatever you want to call it. Which is original factory replacement. I mean, original power head. original floor tool and core painted to match. This is just a, the white core that was painted blue with a spray can. Nothing fancy, but it did do the job. That was three coats of blue. Ran out of paint halfway through, of course. Just had to run out of paint in the middle of the job in dry heat. So. I'm going to give you a demo of each attachment and this will be it for the die. The paint came off here as I pulled off the tape, but that's no, that's no biggie. Right. Try and do with that with a Kenmore, eh? Huh? Suck up that Dyson. So there, folks. As you can hear, the motor is very smooth, no grinding, no weird noise coming from the original compact motor. Has been well taken care of. I bought it on eBay last year for $75 plus shipping. Then I paid $95 for this brush and $140 for the power head. So all in all, I got almost 300 bucks invested, invested in this thing. You do the math. I'm too tired. So this was my compact IEC Electra Model C9 canister vacuum cleaner with original power head. Now I'm going to put some dirt on the carpet and let's see how good she does. Let's run a test, shall we? Got a little pile of uh, baking soda over here. So I'm going to test the vacuum and we're going to see how much is left behind when I come back. She may be old, but I think she can still put it off. Let's see. This is my new series that I'm doing. I'm going to demonstrate the vacuum cleaner and talk about it. My opinions and thoughts on it only. Don't have to agree with it, that's just me. And at the end of the video, I'll do a little test. So let's see how good she does. It's a compact, should do good. Although, that is very fine material, right here, pointing at it. 
and take the post it off and it in. Gotta make it fair. Gotta grind it in. Right in the Go. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Still learning my way around. Okay. I think that's somewhat good. Excuse the bad camera angle, I'm nowhere near professional. This is just me having fun. So let's see how good she picks up that strip of uh, dust that I put on there. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go see what she's picked up. Let's go find out if there's any dirt left behind. Which may be old, but I think she can pull it off. Well, seems to me she did it. There ain't nothing wrong on my hand. There ain't nothing left. Nothing left. No residue. Let's check the brushwork, shall we? Well, no residue in the palmer nozzles, so that's good. There we go. All that white powder you see in here, this is all uh, dust and dirt. She picked that up good. There you have it, it's a compact. This is the closest that I could get it to the original color for the blue compact. So, I just hope it came out okay. So I'm gonna grease and then run out. And just for the hell of it, one last time with a compact on the carpet with a power head, with the camera really close so you can see and hear the power head cleaning the carpet up close. So let's do an up close view of the power head with the compact Electra C9. <laughs>
That was the up close view of the compact cleaning the carpet. Here's the compact in all its glory. There you go. There she is. That's my compact. Everything seem better this way. That's the vacuum. That's the blower part. You take off the cap, that's the blower port. Stick the hose in there. Oh. River stool. The hose. The metal floor tool. Right over here. And the power head has been fully painted and cleaned with a new belt. Low, shag, and outside normal, shag, and low. Give it a look underneath. Underneath the power head. No pet hair or residue whatsoever. So that's my compact. Hope you enjoyed it. I like it. Always wanted one of those. So now I have I have one. I'm very pleased with it. So that's it folks. That's the compact. Get out the way here. Give you a full shot. Now it's glory. Compact Electro C9. Can't beat an old compact.